Yeah. Did we offend anyone this week? Not or yet. Or last week? Not yet. Oh, look, there might be some people the offended here. Yet, there's, uh, there's a couple of things here that are a bit touchy. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, let's jump straight in. <laughs> On this day in 2016, Conor McGregor was found to be using elderly men as sparring partners. The 80 plus year old men were lured to his gym with the promise of a game of bingo. Once there, the coaches put them straight in the ring and Connor would have 30 seconds to render them unconscious with Eric's, with experimental moves like the no-look coward punch and the heart stopper, which is a straight kick directly to the heart. The elderly men would then be dragged from the ring and placed in a large industrial bin outside. It is believed that Connor sparred with the elderly men to improve his confidence. Well, that explains his fucking attitude. Is he going to fight again? Yeah. Matt? Fine soon. Uh, yeah, Poirier, I think he's going to he? fight Dustin Poirier soon, but he keeps saying he's working up to fight Manny Pacquiao. So, How old know. is she? 15. He's like 28, I think. Wow. I'm fucking I th- old. Oh, hang on. No, I think check. he's 30. I Let think he's check. 30. Do you reckon- Matt's no. going to check. You can hear him typing, everyone. Listen. Listen closely. Yeah. Hear it? Well, way off. Of it. He's thirty-two. Thirty-two. There you go. So he's older than us. So like, we've still got a few couple of years to reach that wealth if we were to compare lives, or even to skills. Maybe we should just start bashing dogs. Anyway, on this day in two thousand and eight, LeBron James invested in buying and selling helicopters. Oh, he would buy old, damaged helicopters and fix them, and then sell them, usually to fellow athletes. His helicopter business was booming until early this year when he recently sold one to his good friend Kobe Bryant. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but there were a few issues with it and Kobe didn't really like it or something. Who's LeBron James? That basketball dude. Never heard of him. He just won the uh, NBA championship with the Lakers. Well, it'd be interesting to find out what happened to Kobe there. Maybe we could Google it. Uh, uh, nothing on it, but um, LeBron James is probably the next best player since uh, Jordan. That's crazy, wow. man. We might get Kobe on here. I'll give him a call. He can come over with his helicopter. Apparently, he loves flying them. Is that right, man? Do you, Brown? Is that is that correct? He likes he, flying. He's just a passenger usually. Okay. All right. Interesting. I'm not sure what's going on there, but I'm sure there's a joke hidden deep in there somewhere, isn't there? I have acne. <laughs> on this day in 1987 Tony Robbins broke his snout while frolicking with other horses they were galloping near the boundary fence when Tony stepped into a pothole he snapped his knee and went flying face first into the fence his snout was badly broken and needed nine steel screws in it to hold it in place after the incident Tony stopped playing with the other horses and thought it was time to grow up he started his stand up comedy career shortly after and although his audience rarely laughs at his jokes he still manages to sell out venues and has become very successful is name that him, is, is uh, that name him comedy name a movie with shallow hell's in that shallow hell's in shallow fuck Hell. it gave it Jack away Black. it gave it away Tony Robbins is in shallow hell I knew it see you fucked that up totally you gave the name the answer in the question yeah I'm just stressed I got acne I've, my, my page is almost gone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, in 2015, Paris Hilton released her new perfume range called My Menstration. Mm. She developed the formula herself and even added her own actual menstruation in. Paris promoted a new new perfume but range by throwing buckets of the scent onto the audience during her DJing gigs. The bottles of perfume had to be recalled, however, when a number of people developed blood infections and three ladies even became pregnant from the perfume. My name is Matt Brown and I research these personally. Wow. Fun facts. This is going from last week's episode. We were talking disgusting, about Nick Carter. Oh, now, yeah. He's from the Backstreet Boys. He dated Paris Hilton. Nick mm-hmm. or? Nick. Nick did. And guess what? Menstruation. Since we were talking about it last week, what pops up on my YouTube feed? Menstruation. Aaron Carter. Check Aaron Carter out. He used to be a little kid. Yeah, and, then, and now he's, he's like grown dreads. up. He's got a face tat, dude. He's got dreads and stuff at the moment? Nah, he's got a face tat. Man, it was entertaining. His interviews are great, but fuck me. Paris if you Hilton f- is putting her own If you want to feel better about yourself, watch those interviews. Anyway, I've almost lost my page. I would probably have a uh, threesome with... Um, oh, it, you... Uh, I don't know if you guys would know him, but... Um, yeah, there's this massive, massive... Like, I'm talking at least... 
twice the size of your average cow. <laughs> Up in Rockhampton, there's this monster cow. What's his name? Brahman. Brahman with heaps of A's. B R A H H H H H hyphen man. Is it a man or a woman? It's a big old cow, eh? Oh yeah, like what breed or fucking sex is it? It's a Brahmin. Dairy? Is it dairy? No, it's a um. What do you what do you call him? The the the, the Brahmin. Brahmin. Ah, it's just it's a play on its name is a play on it words. It's a I had a breed. fucking dream that I had sex with a cow the other night. That could be a premonition. I want to go up to Rockhampton soon. We'll that would be flights. that would be whoa. That would be a feat. And I reckon if we did it together. We could definitely do it. You would get uh, stomped. Would, as long as we fucking didn't kill it. You would get fucking stomped hard. We don't kill them. We just fuck them hard. Do they kick back when you go up behind no, them? It is a struggle. It is a big, violent fight. Let me tell you half of it. Let me tell you half of it right now. Okay. Next question. I'll, All right, let's I'll, read some of these secrets. It's next segment name, which has been renamed to... I wish we shut all the fucking doors. I just realized... And anyway. this is a segment where we just read out your secrets. We don't mention names or anything. Your secrets are safe with us. We don't even look at the names. You can get your own secrets, secrets from your mother, secrets from friends, anything. We won't mention names. I promise you, your secrets are safe with us. Send them through. Yeah, just please. Secret that. time. I once shut myself in central London. I was running around trying to get back to my hostel with shit all down my legs. I went to a train station bathroom to try and clean it up. I was literally trying to shovel my shit into the toilet. Didn't work, so I managed to jump in a taxi and get myself back to the ho- to my hostel. Thank God taxis in London's London have glass between myself and the drive because, Jesus Christ, I was sitting in my own shit. Man. Fuck. Oh, That's that- that- I've got way worse shit what, yeah, what, I wouldn't, mm. what, what, And what? I don't even make them secret. I would take the undies out. Oh. Off, put the shorts back on, like wipe your ass. Yeah, undies and then should take the Rinse the, the undies. fucking undies or, or dump, dump them. Dump the them. Yeah, no, yeah, in case you shit again, because he's got, he or she has got diarrhea. So, in case you shit again. You just hold it. Like, unless, the only times I fuck up is when I, like, you know, when you go to fart, but it's not the right idea to do that. Shit! Oh! Yuck, it never gets any easier looking at that. Perhaps you should turn <laughs> away. <laughs> I have to hear. I'm the decibel reader. Yeah, we've got headphones on, mate. You can bloody hear. You can hear it. Oh, it's such a thick air. It's grass. It's weed grass. Dude, oh, yeah, shit stories. Fucking the time of the bathroom became just a shit storm. The time that there was shit all over me and my mum found me. And the time that I couldn't hold his shit in, I shat all over someone's fucking lounge room floor. Michael's, Michael's shat a lot. A lot remember the time sh- we fucking tried to warm ourselves from the shit? Yeah, Michael would use shit in jokes. We've told this story before where there was a period of time when, where friends would come over to Michael's house when he lived with his parents still. And Michael would go to the bathroom and come out just holding his shit in his hand, being like, oh, mm. what do I do with this? To freak our friends out. Many, many shit stories. I remember- you, you, like, shit, you, Everyone's like, wow, that's fucked. But yeah. Really, it's not that bad. It's just, it's your poo. I have a memory of a, a friend of ours bringing a, a girl back to a house and- You she, made it. And she never really met any anyone before. And you walked out with a shit in your hand and went up to her and was like, hey, what do I do with this? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and she was a bit worried. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking- Autistic boy or something, not sure what to do with the poo. <laughs> put it in my pocket or something. Isn't that right? <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> Next secret. Tomato. It's all bruised. Swallow it whole. Okay. What will happen? Nothing. Oh, he's got a joke. Dude. Did you fucking just fucking swallow? Oh, I just did. It hurts. Yes, dude. That was yeah, very fucking big. you're not meant big. to do that. Michael just swallowed an entire cherry tomato. It <laughs> could have gotten stuck. Could Can it gotten... still? Is something going to go wrong? No, you're yeah, fine. maybe. Oh, Jesus God, you stressed me out. <laughs> you're going to shit out of... <laughs> yeah, I want to see it come out whole. Oh. <laughs> if it does come out whole, take a photo. No, no. Can I wash it and eat it again? 100% you can, man. 
Okay, anyway, cool. let's move on with what and we're doing. And that's stunt time. <laughs> Fuck me, swallows a whole fucking. You told me to. It. Yeah, I, was, I didn't think you'd fucking do it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think this is a little jar full of some sort of pills. Oh man, it's like here. It feels like it's here in my heart. That's a big fucking thing, man. Your body has to break that down now. 